We're here to demonstrate the freewheel mode on the keto lever hoist. It's a two-step process. Step one is to take the change of pole and move it from the up or the down position into the neutral position. Step two is to take the freewheel knob itself and to pull it away from the body. When we do that, the internal mechanism is now disengaged and allows us to roll the chain up or down through the hoist quite easily. If we try to push the knob straight into the hoist, it will not go. And the reason is that the internal hub or the inside hub has actually offset by about a third of a turn to prevent that knob from accidentally re-engaging. So what we need to do is to stop the chain from moving. A couple ways we can do that. One is to pinch both lines of chain together and when we turn the knob counter, sorry, in the clockwise direction, the spring in the hoist re-engages that knob. And now we can start using the hoist again. Another way we can do it is we can pinch the chain against the body of the hoist itself. When we pinch that chain against the body, it stops the chain from moving. We can now turn that knob clockwise, about a third of a turn. Spring re-engages that knob, and now we can go back into a lift or lower position. Another way is that if we've got a, a load on the hook itself, when we pull the chain tight, the tension in the line stops the chain from moving. We can now roll that freewheel knob about a third of a turn, spring re-engages the knob into the hoist, and now we can turn that changeover pole to the up position, and we're back into an operation mode.